The first time I had a huge uh, temporary threshold shift was uh, I was playing in band Contractions, three-piece all-girl band. We opened for Duran Duran at Oakland Coliseum. And uh, after that night, I experienced a huge temporary threshold shift. It was like boing, like a big bell jar over my head and just, you know, the, my, I knew my hearing was going down. And then, this is so bizarre, <laughs> and then the next day, I, uh, it, my ears were really going crazy and I experienced like I thought bongo drums were being played <laughs> outside my door. And I was looking for the drummer, you know, I was looking out the window, and I real, then it, the realization that all this head noise and stuff that was going on was just in my head. One of the first signs that sound may be loud enough to cause damage is what they call a temporary threshold shift. Temporary, we know what that means. Sometimes you might, I don't know if you've ever gone to a concert, I know I have, and I've gone in before I became an audiologist and thought about my hearing, and I would go, and I'd come out afterwards and I would think, gosh, it sounds like I can't hear that well. And I hear ringing in my ears, and things don't sound real clear. They sound kind of muffled. A threshold is the level at which a person is just able to detect the presence of a sound. If it's any weaker, it's below threshold and is not heard. If it's just a little bit more intense, it's heard all the time. The threshold is the level at which you hear it 50% of the time. It's a nice, stable measure, and you can come back to it. So we talk about thresholds of hearing in hearing tests. That's what those curves are. And they're the frequency response curves of these two microphones, because that's what these are. These are microphones. If you have to shout within a foot to a foot and a half of their ears, in order for them to hear you, you're in a noise hazardous area. If you leave that noisy environment and your ears are ringing, you're in a noise. You were in a noise hazardous area. And if you were to have left that area and everything seems muffled for two, three, or four hours afterwards, your your hearing has temporarily shifted, a temporary threshold shift of hearing. A good way to tell if you've had that, if you want to find out, say, if music at a certain club is loud enough to cause damage is turn a car radio or house radio onto an all talk station and make it as quiet as you can possibly hear it and make it so you can just understand what the person is saying leave the volume where it is then after a loud sound exposure turn the radio back on at that same volume and see if you can understand it and if you can't which is not unlikely after loud sound exposure it means that those cells in your ears have essentially cramped up and have suffered some damage. And I was mixing uh, live sound as we would get some threshold shift, I'm sure, along with fatigue into the evening. We'd start in the very early days, we didn't know what we were doing, we had these tools. You'd start pushing up the high-end faders, sliders on the EQ. You'd see it at the end of the evening, those things were pushed well up, mm. compensating for our own temporary threshold shift. And sometimes not so temporary. That damage may be temporary, or it may be permanent, and there's no way you can tell by the way you feel, you're not gonna have any pain. It's just uh, damage to your ears, and you don't have any nerves going there except sound nerves, and those don't hurt. A lot of times, plus when you leave a club where it's loud, and then you go in your car, you turn up your stereo louder to be as loud as the club, and then you get home and you're really deaf. <laughs> well, uh, it was still there, both of them, at least uh, uh, visually. Um, if I'm, you know, say across a yard from somebody or something, and they say something to me, you know, a lot of times I'll have to have them repeat it. Now, if I were to close my eyes and they were to make a sound in the room, I couldn't really tell you where that sound came from. I did suffer 40% uh, loss to where I couldn't understand conversation. 